For the next 30 minutes, we will explore the unexplained. From mysteries beyond our galaxy, to ghostly phenomena in our own backyard, we will dive into our psychic abilities and explore everything from conspiracies to the just plain weird. Welcome to 30 Odd Minutes. If the truth is out there, we will find it. But only by sheer accident. Hey, welcome to 30 Odd Minutes. Tonight we're on a stakeout. Matt's here, Andrew's here too. You can see him in the rear view. All right, not cool. Something happened this week. First of all, thanks for your letters and emails. Keep them coming. Info at 30oddminutes.com. Go to our website, 30oddminutes.com. Visit us on Twitter. What we don't like are getting messages like this. Dear 30 Odd Minutes, we have Oddbot 3000. If you want to see him alive again, meet us in the parking lot for an interview. We're not messing around here. Patrick Burns from Haunting Evidence and author Marley Gibson. Not often people sign a ransom note. Look it. Oh my god. Those monsters. Bastards. Oh my god. What do we do? I say we smoke them. Hey, remember last time, Matt. No gun this time. All right. I You're still right. didn't get the blood out of the other car. You're right. All right, listen. What do we know about these guys? All right. Patrick Burns is best known as the paranormal investigator star from True TV's Haunting Evidence. He is one of the most in-demand paranormal researchers and speakers today. His numerous technical skills include mastery of advanced audio filtering techniques for enhancing faint EVP recordings. As a photographer, Patrick shoots exclusively in infrared. He is also the co-author of the book for teens, The Other Side, A Teenager's Guide to Ghost Hunting. He has been on tons of radio programs and conferences across the United States. Hmm. Marley Gibson. Marley Gibson is the author of numerous books, including the hit young adult paranormal fiction series, Ghost Hunters. He is also the co-author of The Other Side, A Teenager's Guide to Ghost Hunting. She is a lover of all things paranormal, and in addition to being seen at paranormal conferences around the United States, you've also seen her on the biography channel. So there's a connection between these two. There is. All right, this is where we're supposed to meet him. Let's creep up and see what we can find here. It's a dark, stormy night. I think that might be them. Oh, look it, look it. All right, let's see if they get the... Oh, it's them. It's them. Are you ready? You ready, ready, Andrew? You ready? Let's do this. All right, let's roll. Let's roll, people. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Matt, quick, quick. It's go, cool. quick, quick, quick. Go, 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 go. What have you done with Oddbot? It's, it's not what it looks like. No, 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 really, really. We just want to talk this over. All right, all right, let's sit down and talk this okay. over. All right, okay. Why'd you do it? Because we could. Good point. Because he was there. Patrick Burns. Yes. Nice to have you. Jeff. Marley Gibson. Hey, Jeff. Matt. Matt, how's it going? Hey, Matt. Marley, good to see you again. Good to see you again, Pat. This is our first raid of a talk show. <laughs> so thanks for having us to your home, Absolutely. Mobile Paranormal Lab. That's it, man. <laughs> and and everything in between. Okay, so I really don't know. You got this thing today. Today's their first day in this baby. Literally. Literally. Yeah. They haven't even spent the night in it yet. This is our first stop after leaving <laughs> Boston. What's the plan? Uh, the first stop is uh, Gettysburg for Phenomenology 102. Yep. Uh, cool. That's coming yep. up this weekend. So literally we are departing from here and heading to Gettysburg for awesome. uh, that. And uh, after that... Uh, a couple of days off. Yeah. It's yeah. been crazy. The past couple of weeks have just been a blur. I don't even remember March. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's we've been, been moving it. and packing and driving and traveling and 
Story. and moving and <laughs> driving and flying. There's much cheaper and easier ways to get to Gettysburg. So what's the bigger plan beyond? <laughs> well, last year we tallied it up. Um, the apartment that we just got out of our lease. We'd been there, you know, 52 weeks. We figured we were there for about 23 weeks out of the 52. Yeah. Yeah, so we're paying an exuberant amount of, uh, of, of rent for, for downtown Boston, and we're never there. Right. And we literally, when we would arrive home, it'd be like, okay, turn around, and we're off to this yeah. next event. And we, we just started thinking last summer, we were like, you know what? It would make a whole hell of a lot more sense to take our house with us, is, you know, yeah. and, and just have everything with us and just go from from event to event instead of flying back and forth. We don't have to ship books places now. We don't have to ship his photographs places. It's uh, all equipment. underneath us. It is yeah. a paranormal yeah. lab. I know. They have Jeez. a basement. This thing yeah. is huge. <laughs> they have a basement. <laughs> We're going to get a tour very soon, I promise. <laughs> so, I mean, but I mean, what an opportunity, too, to, I mean, take side trips and see all kinds of interesting things oh, and yeah. places. Exactly. And, I mean, uh, what what's I mean any anything in store already or are you? Well, we've got um, well Patrick's kids are going to come with us this mm -hmm. summer and we're going to take them on some fun places. Going to go to some water parks and some nice. They're not on it. Parks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a paranormal show. That's oh, right. They might be. <laughs> that's true. They might. Scooby Doo. Yeah, right. Right. Phantom that's right. That's, that's right. right. So so yeah, yeah um, and we hope to eventually head out west. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to stay on the East Coast probably most of this year, and then towards the end of the year, we're going to probably head out West and do some investigations and see some things. Yeah. And I mean, we've got a lot of investigations planned. Yeah. Um, we kind of call this thing the Boo Cruiser. Um, <laughs> but with your Ghost Towns TV, you've got a lot of investigations that yeah. in the works. Well, that's that's one of the things uh, like you've been doing. You've yeah. been putting putting out vodcasts, video podcasts, and we're planning to do similar type thing. Awesome. Um, uh, you know, short 10-11 uh, minute long episodes. Try to, the ambition, the ambitious goal is to put out a new episode each week. I don't know if we can meet that meet that goal, but... Uh, it's hard, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it really this, is. This is our 30th. Yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. You're 30th a lot of work. on your 30 odd minutes. 30 odd minutes. Look at that. Show. It was meant to be. Yeah. No, and, and but that's great. And that's what's so cool is that the technology's gotten to the point where we can share these adventures. Uh, in a way that they never could be before, and so that's really cool. Now, let's talk about how you two met. I mean, you're an author of fiction. Um, I know you, you got into the paranormal to research for a book. Yep. Uh, the Ghost Huntress. Oh, I got it. Wait. Oh, you got all of them. Oh, all of them. <laughs> there they are. There it is. The Ghost Huntress. Now a series. Third one about to come out. Very Third one exciting. comes out in May. It's an advanced copy. I can't have this. You can't. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Aw, thanks. <laughs> so, Ghost Hunter, so, that's, so this is what got you into the paranormal. Let's... Yeah, I, uh, my agent said to me if I wanted to sell into young adult that I needed to do something really high concept, and I refused to do vampires. Uh, they're, as Patrick says, done to death. Right. And uh, I, I needed something different, and I went to a conference. I met Maureen Wood, Ron mm -hmm. Kolick from the New England Ghost Project. Sure. And I was like, people ghost hunt? Yeah. And uh, sitting in their obsession, um, the whole first book came to me like a movie, and I'm like, I have to write about teenage ghost hunters. And then I started doing the research, and I realized there are TV shows and there are conferences. And yeah. I met Patrick through um, a conference at the Stanley Hotel. Yeah. And uh, he wrote the foreword to the first book for me. Oh, right. Yeah, very good. And then um, my agent and I decided we, we needed a, a nonfiction companion for the book series. And we got... Yes. The Other Side, A Teen's Guide to Ghost yeah. Hunting. And, of course, the first person I thought of to write the book with was the Me, lovely I was, person. I was, uh, you were... <laughs> I was totally booked out. <coughs> so. Right? And, so, uh, yeah. And, and Dave Schrader helped with this as well, the yep. three of you. And Absolutely. that's um, very cool. And so, so talk about the whole idea of mixing uh, the paranormal with teens. Now, I'm willing to go out on a limb that, like myself... It was even before teen when I was interested in this. Oh, sure. You know, um, and, and most of the people that we know that have been into this their whole lives, like, yeah. it, it started as kids. And yeah. I know I was reading Hans Holzer and, and Brad Steiger because that's all there was. Exactly, you know, exactly. When we were when we were kids. Uh, so, since this is a, a TV show now, we can... Go ahead, yeah, we can get visual. This is what I used to check out of the library in my school. Oh, yeah. And I found it on eBay. How cool. I didn't realize it. But I was into the paranormal a long time ago. I used to check that out when I was like 10, 11 years old. And uh, I saw one of my teachers from school not recently. She said, I remember you used to check out 13 Alabama ghosts all the time. Where's Marley from? <laughs> Alabama. Well, that's where I grew up. Alabama. Well, she's actually right. from Massachusetts. Yeah, right. Born in Newton. 
New, okay, right, but grew up in, in but Bama. Grew up in Bama. Right on. And so, but, and, and there's a wonderful Southern tradition, and you're a Georgia guy, so, I mean, I, I, I think there's a, I think Southerners, if I could stereotype, a kind one, actually. <laughs> I, I, I think they're, uh, they're actually natural storytellers more than, oh, uh, definitely. than oh, yeah. people from other parts. Yeah. And so Southern ghost stories, there's some, there's a flavor to them that's just awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Know, Absolutely. In, in, the, in the retelling of how, you know, haints, you know, that yeah, sure. little haints that, the are, haints. that are down there. Well, I, I find more acceptance. Uh, I'm originally from Chicago myself, but I, I lived in Atlanta for 13 years. Yeah. And I have, I found, you know, I, I became a ghost hunter when I lived in Georgia. Right. Um, and I found that uh, there's definitely, there's more acceptance for uh, the paranormal and, and ghost stories in the South than than I, I find in in the North. Ironically, no kidding. You, you would think that uh, it would be the other way around, and uh, in, I and disagree with that. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> all right, no. oh, please. This is good. No, I. If you guys want to fight? That's even better. <laughs> no, like throw chairs. I know they're connected. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Yeah. No, um, it's because yeah. I mean I, I was researching this here in New England, and it was like once people found out I was writing about ghosts. Everybody and their brother started telling me, oh, my grandma's house is haunted, and yeah. it's a hundred-year-old. I mean, in New England, everything's 200-plus years old, you know? And sure. But that happens. That happened in, uh, in Georgia as well for me. I mean, you know, when I first was getting started out, I was investigating cemeteries after dark, and uh, not only would the cops show up and say, yeah, it's cool for you to be in there, you're, you're just taking pictures, they'd also be like, you need to check out this place and yeah. this place and this yeah. place. They give you a laundry list of places to go and, and, and scope out. This was when I was living in Georgia, so. Cops know. Yeah, yeah. They definitely. Know, they're the first ones on the scene. I mean, oh, I, yeah. I've, Absolutely. I've known that for years. I'll get emails from police officers and, and phone calls who say, you know, hey, if someone's walking around in your house in the middle of the night, you call the cops. That's yeah. what you should do. Yeah. And they get there and there's nothing. Well, one of the things we say in the other side, um, for teenagers, if they're going to do this and do it responsibly, to get a mentor and the local cops yeah, are sure. really good mentors to get because yeah. they can get you in the best places and well, a lot tell of them, you where, yeah. A lot of them are also very interested in, and in the paranormal. Right. Uh, in the years that I, I, I ran Ghost Towns as, a parent, as an investigation group in uh, the Atlanta area, we had probably, I guess over the years, at least a dozen police officers that were, were a part of our, our team in one, one form or another. So yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, definitely something. But like, like Marley was saying, um, we were talking about just a minute ago, the 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 premise for writing the book um obviously all these tv tv shows coming out right now right and you know myself included it was was featured on a on a uh, popular paranormal tv show um we realize that you know sometimes these shows maybe aren't the best teaching mechanisms yeah. for the next generation <clears throat> of ghost hunters right and uh, of course everybody's heard about cemeteries getting vandalized by by kids going in just not knowing what they're doing just going in and, and messing around and we really wanted to get the next generation started on the right foot and teach them how to go about doing this responsibly and how to do it, you know, ethically. Right. And, um, you know, that was that was kind of the I goal. I think we accomplished it. I do, too. Yeah. It's, you know, certainly uh, Dave and, and myself were both parents, and uh, we knew certainly sooner or later that uh, yeah. our kids are going to, the book is going to fall in our, our kids' hands, and they're going to read it. And we wanted to write something that we would feel comfortable and feel proud enough to let our own kids read yeah so yeah I no i accomplished that never let my daughter read my books <laughs> none of them ever really okay <laughs> no <laughs> she can have whatever she wants no okay so is this house haunted you know we don't know yet i mean we don't it, know it, yet we just moved out of a haunted apartment <laughs> you haven't spent the night in this house so you really don't know you haven't done like an emf sweep no or no nothing no. yet man oh can we get nope. a tour yeah uh, uh, Check this out. The this bedroom is a mess. No, I know. I know. It always is. It's their first day. They haven't this even. This is the captain's the console. Right. Okay. This is this is the this, point where you want to go. This right? is you want to actually right. face the chair this way. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. So we have a TV up here. Which you nice. don't watch while you're driving. Which you don't watch while you're driving. Right, of course not. Um, Unless our show's on. That's right. And then you would. You'd DVR, take a DVD, all of so we got all these little nooks and crannies here. Right. But um, we're gonna set up the Wii so that you know we can play yeah, when yeah. we're parked, but. We've got, um, you know, we've got storage up here, sorry. That's all right. All sorts of junky storage. We just sort of threw everything Lovely in here. Lovely stuff. Any good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Any good stuff. Where's the cookies? <laughs> Where the, and this donuts. Thing's a, wait, there's donuts. There's a, and this thing's a transformer. This whole wall went out. Yeah. yeah. And there's an Autobot on Good. the roof. We'll, we'll show you. We'll demonstrate yeah. here. Let's see. Oh, Where can I go are? for a ride? Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. Whoa. 
You have Usually to I don't put down. a quarter in something for this to happen. <laughs> are you sure it's not mad at Matt? The hydraulics are down. Should we do that? Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is awesome. The balls are cl See, well, so I haven't had experiences <laughs> like this since the 80s. Yeah. Oh, wait, Patrick, the chair. stop. It's the chair. Oh, the this is great. We just broke their brand new house. Uh, I'm having a, a, a Star Wars uh, yeah. everybody in the trash compactor moment. Right, yeah. This is very R2-D2. No, shut them all down. Shut them all down. Well, no. them all down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got this lovely couch that, that folds beautiful. out into a bed. Right. Have our, our little office slash dinner space. Beautiful, beautiful. We beautiful. have my kitchen, my lovely oh, kitchen. Tell them all about your Love oven. this thing. It's a convection oven. No. And a halftime oven. You can cook like a chicken in 15 minutes. While you're driving. Preferably not while you're driving. I'd be more impressed. To, but they could. And I've got all these lovely little cubbies for, you know, spices and like stuff. Like we said, everything is kind of haphazardly thrown in here today because we, we were in a hurry to get out of time. We don't Organize judge here. We don't judge no, here. No, no. Fridge. And of course, we've got wine in there already. Chilling. Again, not my, while you're driving. My favorite. Yikes. Favorite thing in the whole rig. Yes, please. The secret compartment. Oh, nice. More, more uh, sake, I guess. Yes, yes. sake. Order of the day. And um, and booze. This is good. Uh, not, again, yeah, not is, while you're driving. We can't stress driving. this enough. And Absolutely. in preparation of whenever I hit the New York Times list. Nice, the Dom. The Dom. Wow. Got to hit the list though. All right. You know what? We should, I feel like we should take that bottle, go outside and <laughs> christen, christen and the rig. Christen this sucker. Uh, is that, it has a nickname. Uh, it's Couple. got several yeah. nicknames. We haven't really, on, yeah. yeah, chosen on a kind of kind of calling her Midge right now. Midge. There's, there's a reason for this, but we can't really we can't talk reveal about it. it. Yes. Okay. 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 Well, we have to see the throne, please. The throne? Yeah. yeah. Come to the throne. Come on. Uh, we probably have to go by and in, right? Yep. Okay. And this is going to be tricky and dark. Is, it, is someone in there? Oh, no, Odd there it goes. in there. Oh, this is great. So this is where you guys are going to poop. Oh. <laughs> oh, we... Can you, it doesn't open anymore, huh? No. All right, well, come on go, through. You go in. All right, go in the bathroom. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. This is complicated. We'll be sitting on the pot. All right, and now you come through. And, and strike the thinking man pose, Jeff. <laughs> the thinker. Uh, this is good. This is good. I like this. I could uh, get used to this. Hey, could you? Do you guys have a newspaper? <laughs> um, you want to read the uh, oh Ghost Huntress? Yes, I, I would like to read. Go that. take thirteen ghosts. Oh, 13 wait. Thirteen Alabama ghosts. All right. There Thank you, you. This is. Uh, you got it. Got it. So this is what it. it this is what it would look like for, for Marlene Patrick traveling. <laughs> Again, not while they're driving. We really can't say that enough times that you can't mess around. Okay, good. Now behind you is the shower. That's where they're going to shower, but again, not while they're driving. <laughs> we're going to run that joke we into the We could. Ground. But very tricky. Hypothetically, but, you really but yes. really have to hold tight. We're not going to. I mean, you can show the bedroom. It's just really messy. Yeah. Oh, and we, we, we've actually got a, a... We're using the shower right now for storage. Like I said, we were in a hurry to get out of Boston so that we could be down here to do the show, and a lot of stuff is still kind of haphazardly strewn about. It's not really in, in its final location yet, but uh, we're working on it. So. so in scientific terms, it's a mess. It's a mess, exactly. It's a god-awful mess. That's why I let Jeff out of the bathroom. Okay, good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for doing that. Did this you flush? Oh, I didn't flush. <laughs> I left you a surprise. <laughs> so that's about it. This is beautiful. And like this I said, you know, you've got this slide and the bedroom slide slides out as well. Okay, now, now we, uh, oh, everyone loves a truck stop. I mean, right? Oh, yeah. Am I right or am I right? Where are you, where are you, I know you're sleeping tonight in my driveway. Yes, we are. Thank so, you very much. No, my flight's are right. <laughs> Happy to help. Where tomorrow night? Uh, tomorrow yeah. night in Gettysburg. Do you know where, though? Uh, the Eisenhower. The Eisenhower uh, Hotel's their parking, parking lot. lot. <laughs> nice. We're going to have our housewarming party, and people are yeah. hopefully bringing us lots of gifts. Yeah, um, right. We brought donuts. Or maybe yeah. they're just going to come by and crash and, and yeah. drink our booze. Who knows? Yeah, we're going to have... Um, yeah. Pot What's your most favorite part of Gettysburg? Oh, most favorite... Uh, obviously, the battlefield. Devil's Love Den. It. And Devil's Den. Yeah, yeah. if we had to Devil's be specific, Den. Devil's Den. Um, love it there. I've only been there one time, and uh, that was last year for Phenomenology 101, and uh, kind of on a on a time crunch last year. We but were this really year, crunched last year. Yeah, but this year we actually have time to kind of hang out for a few days afterwards. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. Good. We actually joined um, a camping 
club network, network thingy. And uh, they have resorts everywhere. They call yeah. them camping resorts. And they have their home bases for us are in North Carolina and Gettysburg. Oh, okay. And so there's a battle. It's like right off the battlefield, this amazingly huge camping ground. So we can just pull the rig in there. Yep. And, you know, they've got games. They've got pools. They've got right laundry facilities, the propane. You can refill stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. So this this is going to be on the road. A, yeah, that's so cool though. And, yeah. and Gettysburg is such a great place, and yeah. I've I've been there a bunch. Um, I know when you stay on those battlefields, and and just to talk about, um, you know, I don't consider myself even remotely psychic, but right. but you go to a place like that, Ugh, you and, can't help. You feel you just, a vibe. You said like, okay, this is something big went totally. down. Totally. Yeah. And especially like in Devil's Den, when you're walking around, and you look at the rocks, and you go, oh, look at all those iron deposits. Yeah, that's blood. Yeah, right. Blood has iron in it. Those are blood stains from... 150 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Have you been there, Matt? Yes. Good uh, answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, yes, it's I have. It's couch. It's sucking One of my man. more favorite places is Sunken Road. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, where you have where little... Where is that? It's... Oh, it's hard to explain from... It's not far from Devil's Den. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all a big, like... Uh, 15 miles worth of battlefield, basically. But the sunken road contained literally tens of thousands of bodies. Uh -huh. One piled upon, they were piled five deep in some places. Oh, wow. And uh, what happened was the road was sunken in this little valley, natural depression. And um, the Confederates decided to use this area as a, a battlement. And right. unfortunately, there was a little dip in on the other side of the road that they weren't aware of. The Union, once the Union made it over the crest of the hill and down the other side, they were able to pop up within literally yards of the Confederates, and they let them have it. And literally thousands and thousands wow. of people yeah. died in a short one-mile stretch. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Gettysburg is one of our our home network campsites that we can camp at for free being a member of this thing so we're going to be spending a lot yeah. of time there yeah, and we're yeah, looking forward to exploring a lot of the, a lot of the <clears throat> areas in Gettysburg. And it's such a, I mean it's such a combination what I think people forget about uh, ghost hunting is especially watching the television shows is that history is a big part of it. Sure, and, absolutely. And, and when you're doing the real, th I mean when you're doing a TV show you get through the history in minutes, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, absolutely. A, a couple. Yeah, yeah. When you're really doing it, when you're really passionate about this, you're getting through it in weeks. Oh, absolutely. Hours of books and, and articles and, and online. And that's the, f I mean, I think that's one of yeah. the fun parts of paranormal investigation is getting all that backstory. And I mean, maybe it's because I'm a writer and I, I like the character development yeah. of, of a building or even a place as a character. Those are air quotes. Those were air quotes. <laughs> yeah. I'm very very air quotes. Air quotes. <laughs> but um yeah. but yeah and then when you work the history into all that it's like, you know, it's just I'm a writer and I can't come up with words. It's right the now, stage it's, for which we set the ghost. It is, right it now. is. It's all part of the same thing. It's not so much the you know, it's, people think it's just all about the, you know, getting scared or running out of a building or something no. like that. No, it's the whole package of of the research and the learning about the people and this place yeah. we went to in Wisconsin. Tell, sure. tell us all about that. Yeah, it was, uh, it's tell an us. old... Tell <laughs> us! Come on, it's an old, know. old boarding house in um, uh, Mineral Springs. Mineral... Mineral, mineral, mineral Springs? Mineral Springs. I'm, Wisconsin. I, mineral Springs, Wisconsin. Southwest corner of the state. Yeah. And... Um, Walker oh, House Inn. Yeah, the Walker House Inn. And uh, they invited us to, to come in there and investigate and... Uh, you know, it's been there for since the 18, early 1800s. Well, I the think they built it in the early yeah. 1800s, but yeah. it became kind of like a boarding house and a, a flop house in the 1860s when uh, the railroad came through after the yeah. Civil War. Yeah, the uh, the owners, they basically staked all of their life savings. They poured everything they right. owned into yeah. this thing, and it's really struggling, and we really wanted to try and help and bring some attention to it. So that's going to be one of the very first episodes that we, we do of our, our, our vodcast when we put it out there. Okay, here's, here's a good point. I mean, I've run into this a lot, and I'm sure you guys have too, where, you know, you don't want to become part of someone's marketing plan per se. Right. Right. <laughs> Not to say that people who really flaunt and promote and sell T-shirts and you know, right. are not haunted legitimately. Sure. Uh, sure they are. But um, but at the same time, uh, ghosts are good for business. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Definitely. and that's the thing. When they first moved into this, this place, when they first sunk all their savings right. and opened up the pub that was allegedly haunted and stuff, they didn't play it up. 
and they said they wished that they had played it up more back then, but they weren't trying to capitalize on it. But I mean, if you've got a story, that's going to bring people in. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's an interesting building. It's got some interesting little nooks and crannies in yeah. it. So. Yeah, I found that you know a lot of a lot of hotels um, they they try to shun and, and get away from their their haunted history element. And I, sure. I I tell them I say you're making a big mistake. I say for every every customer you scare off, you're going to bring in probably yeah. 10 more yeah. that want to stay in the haunted room. You know, they're going to ask you specifically, put us in the haunted room. Right. So I think ghosts, yeah, absolutely can be good for business. So, all right, let's talk about some of the evidence that, that we're seeing. You know, someone uh, on my website sent in a picture this week, and uh, and I got duped. I felt so stupid. So I, I put it, it was like, this is cool. It's this faint soldier, right, standing mm -hmm. in some steam pipes at a, at a hospital in Bridgeport. And I'm like, wow, this is, actually looks pretty good. You know, I haven't yeah. seen one like this in a while. A couple days later, one of my readers sent in and said, "Dude, uh, have you seen the iPhone app?" Uh, oh, you know. No. And I said, "I know it exists, but I'm not, you know." And, and so he's like, "I just took this picture in my house that is very much not haunted, oh. and there's the same soldier go." And I said, "You know, th I put it up and said, hey, look, look at the you compare for yourself." But, um, but, but one of the problems that we're running into is that it's so easy to fake this stuff. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. and so absolutely, and so given that we're going to have to start throwing out even things like photos, you know, yeah. it's so sad that used to be such compelling evidence. What, what do we have now that's that's really we can we can hold up to, Boy, to scrutiny? You, you know? know, everything is going to everything that we we collect is going to be scrutinized. Sure, by, yeah. as it should be. You know, um, to me, it's a subjective. Thing. It's something that you prove to yourself. You don't get into this with the hope of finding the smoking gun evidence to prove to the world that ghosts exist. Right. It's a subjective, personal event, uh, journey that you're on. You know, prove it to yourself. You know you didn't tamper with that photograph. You might not com convince the rest of the world that you didn't tamper with the photograph. But, you know, when you get something really compelling that you have you've collected yourself and you can rule out hoax or, <clears throat> or operator error it's really compelling and it makes a really good argument but it's to me it's always been a personal a right. personal journey right and what's your threshold of proof marley I, same thing i mean i i know what i've seen with my eyes right that i can't take a picture from here other than in my own memory but you know seeing a full-bodied apparition how do you explain that to somebody you know, well, how'd you feel? Did you scream? No, I burst into tears because oh. I'm a girl. Oh, where'd that happen? At Stanley. At the Stanley Hotel yeah, in Estes I, Park, Colorado. In Estes Park on the third floor. I turned down the hall and it was during an event, so I thought somebody was down there doing EVPs. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were here. And I mean, it was it was the shape of a man at the yeah. end of the hall. And I flashed the flashlight and there was nothing there. And I broke out into chill bumps and I burst into tears. And I, But before that, I'm like, oh my God, did you just see that? It was... Did you see what I just saw? And two other people saw it, and I said, "Oh my God, I'm gonna cry!" And I'm like, Ooh! <laughs> "Kids like that." When I talk at high schools and stuff, they're like, "Do you get scared when you run away?" I'm like, "No, I burst into tears." <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, they, it's a powerful experience. I don't have to ever convince anybody else of it because I experienced it. Yep. Um, and then I had the 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 poltergeist activity that I got on film at Waverly Hills of a ball moving around for 18 minutes. Yeah. So, which will be on my website soon. Waverly Hills, that's another yeah. great place, gosh. Right. Yeah, I know, we, we've all been there. And yeah. Yep. Yeah, we were there together not that long. Last yeah. year. A year ago. Yeah, yeah. about a year ago. Yeah, that's right. So, One of my favorite places. Yeah. yeah. Matt, we, I think we've, I think everyone in this room has had experiences at uh, Waverly. Yeah. Andrew, you haven't been there. Not Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, you got to come with us next time. Um, yeah, cool. No, so, I mean, what an, it is an amazing journey, like all of this, and I think that's what some people forget is that uh, it's a, it is a deeply personal journey, mm -hmm. even though we're out there talking about it yeah. and sharing it in books and in, in video casts and television and, and everything else. I mean, it's it's such a personal thing yeah. um, that you know there must be some reason that we we keep after it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You, you know, I mean, is that 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 thirst for knowledge and that, yeah. that quest Definitely. to know something more? Definitely. Know? Well, you know, for me, it's it's I even when when I ran Ghost Towns as an investigative group. Um, I, I tended to shy away from doing a lot of stuff in private residences. Yeah. To me, I was always more compelled by the stuff that had an actual history behind it. You know, I had an yeah. actual, there was an actual story there. Instead of somebody just calling you up out of the blue saying, hey, my house is haunted, I want to go to the hotel that's had reports of an apparition walking down the hall for 50 years. That's yeah. what we all want, man. Yeah. yeah. 
This is so cool. We're we're actually we're out of time. We have run up against it. Wow. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Thanks Welcome for us coming into to your, our house. Your house. This is so this cool. Is it. Please send us some reports from the We will. For sure, we promise. Alright. Until next time, folks, stay on.